I let it sink in every game during the national anthem. I never had this habit before until my first year doing the box. I close my eyes during the national anthem, but during that moment, I just think about how grateful I am for this seat. Lisa Byington's journey to the seat began in Michigan. The sport of basketball has followed me my whole life. As an All-State standout in high school with dad as head coach. I mean, he's been my coach since day one. I mean, I've learned everything because of him. He's great. From there, Lisa a scholarship to Northwestern. Lisa I always thought I was going to be the professional athlete for the rest of my life, and it wasn't until college that it dawned on me that, you know what, Lisa, you probably need to get that real job, and, and you can't play sports for your whole life. MJ was back in the gym today. Sparking a career in broadcasting. Welcome in, I'm Lisa Bynes. One that began in Alpena, Michigan. There are a lot of things I love about this job. And included stops at regional All right, Matthew Stafford and national networks. Welcome, and thank you for making us a part of your Saturday night alone. Before getting the call to be the next voice of the Milwaukee Bucks. Welcome to Bucks basketball, everyone. The five-time All-Star Marcus Johnson is back. I'm Lisa Bynton. Becoming the first female voice of a men's professional sports team. Finding Giannis. Oh, oh, oh captain. Our oh, captain. I put on the headset. I'm not thinking. Lisa Bynton, female broadcaster. I'm thinking, Bucks broadcaster, what are our storylines? What are we talking about for that night? Right next to the 55, he knows that he's going for 50. He's got 50! This is her perspective. Giannis Antetokounmpo, 50 points. But there's an undeniable sense of pride that comes with her story of perseverance. The fact that there's going to be so many more opportunities for women, that's what I get excited about is that if you can do a good enough job in, in this seat, with that headset, in this role, and to open up doors for everybody else, it is it is completely gratifying. Here comes Drew Holiday, leading the break, calls his own number, all-star, I'd say yes, sir. Byington will always be linked to being the first, but her focus is on the next. We've decided to start the Lisa Byington Award. The Big Ten Conference even surprised her with the creation of the Lisa Byington Award. You can you can tell I'm, I'm emotional. Given annually to an aspiring female broadcaster from one of the Big Ten schools. The award itself means so much because all I needed for myself were for either men or women to believe in me and, and open up doors. And, and that's exactly what the Lisa Byington Award is gonna do. Before her eyes follow the action. Chris walks into a huge three-point shot. It has electrified this building. Lisa Byington reflects. I look up and I like to look up in the corners and, and see all the fans, you know, staring down at the court and, and feeling their passion and excitement. And it gets me going and it, it makes me feel very grateful. The little girl from Michigan, the first All-State girls player in school history, who fell in love with sport. Not gonna miss that. Is now a steady soundtrack in sport. Giannis, what more can you do for us? She would be proud of the fact that I never gave up, that I kept going, that I kept believing, that I had a vision for myself, and always worked hard to that, and never let anybody else's answer dissuade me or be a barrier to where I wanted to go. Welcome to Bucks Basketball. Changing the game. Bobby with the cleanup, underdog going to work. And leaving a legacy in Milwaukee and beyond. To get this opportunity is a dream.